Good morning, Luis. How are you? Uh, good morning, Jose. How are you? I'm fine. I am doing good. Thank you very much for your time. Um, I know we're um, calling from long distance here, but thank you for, for taking some time to talk to us today about Neruda, the movie. Um, yeah, please. So I wanted to get um, just a couple of questions from our, from our readers. Um, uh, in regards to your role, primarily your role as Pablo Neruda, how did you find yourself casting for this role, and, and did any personal political views consider, consider um, played and considering playing the part? Yes, 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 yes. Look, um, well, it, my personal political views about uh, this character or any other one must be erased when, when, you, when you go into a character, because it is... It is a prejudice, and uh, the task of the actor is avoid all those prejudices in front of a character. You, you, you must face the character uh, as, as, as the, the, the most naked as you can, can go into it. So, um, of course, uh, there exist uh, a, lot of, a lot of prejudices uh, respect uh, uh, Pablo Nerua, uh, but are the prejudices that... Um, are, are, are aroused from his political view. He was a man from, from the left wing, but at the same time, he was a great, um, how to say, he, a, a great bourgeois. He, he loved to, to live the life, to enjoy the life. And what's the problem with it? You know, uh, in, in Chile, I have to say that we have a lot of prejudices with Pablo Neruda because he was not an easy character. He was not a, a common man. He always was a big artist, a artist that participated of the artistic circles. And he, he, in that sense, he, doesn't, he didn't live the life of the common man. He always lived the life of, of the great artists. He always lived the life of the great uh, politicians and of the great um, men of diplomacy. You, you have to know that he... At, at, at the time the, this movie presents Paulo Merua, he had been a great diplomat in, in, in Chile and in, in out, out of Chile, you know. So there's a lot of prejudices with a character like this. And um, those prejudices come in, in good part from the, the conservative part of the society, which uh, uh, they don't allow... Uh, 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 a man like Paulo Neruda uh, have many faces. Now, wh wh what, I, what, I ha what I've learned after this movie of Paulo Neruda is that uh, in those times, uh, in, 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 in the 40s, uh, artists and politicians as well, they were even um, more, more, more free than artists and politicians uh, nowadays, uh, Paulo Neruda was so close to people from the surrealism, from the surrealistic movement. I mean, uh, Aragon uh, and other uh, and Dali and, and other Paulo Picasso and other surrealistic painters and artists. And he was at the same time a very serious communist member, uh, a communist uh, member of the. Uh, uh, serious uh, member of the Communist Party. He was a senator of the Communist mm -hmm. Party. And he was serious in both tasks. He, both, he was serious being an artist and being a politician. And, and if you see, uh, today, we, we need more certainties than the certainties people need in the 40s. Uh, even artists, artists many times, uh, uh, we need, uh, or, or I don't know why, artists... Uh, Today, they're, they're serious people. They are, um, I don't know, people out of humor, people very conservative many times, and, well, not to speak about politicians. Politicians today, uh, all around the world, they're boring people. They are people mm -hmm. without any, 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 pro, um, any profound vision of the things. Uh, they are people just worry about, uh, about uh, uh, you know, the... the, the the, the audience. Uh, I mean, the the, the, the uh, how 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 much uh, they, they are valued in 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 in, in, in the electors, you know. So right. the vision I have of Paulo Neruda is that he and many people of of his uh, of his generation was 
a very, very, they were more liberal. They were, uh, they had a, a great, uh, a great freedom, even more than people that you can find today. So I, uh, I had a great prejudice in that sense. And my, my task was to get rid of that prejudice to go into Nerula. Okay, I understand. We have, so uh, two more questions. Um, just two, two more questions. Um, can you specifically talk about um, his relationship with his wife in the film? I know in the film he portrays himself very close to his wife, and she's very supportive during his time in, um, yes. in public and during his exile. Maybe you could talk about um, their relationship together. Well, uh, in fact, in fact, the, um, the, the, the woman of Pablo Rua, you know, Pablo Rua's wife, was, uh, she was a very aristocratic Argentinian woman, and, um, well, she was very, very important, extremely important for him. And if you read the history, you can, you can see that um, she taught Pablo Rua in many ways. Pablo Rua was a very rough man. Uh, Pablo Rua was a man from the deep south of Chile. He was a very savage man in many, in many senses. And uh, the relationship she had, he had with, with his wife was, was uh, fantastic in that sense because she was, I think, that she was the, the, free, the free artist that uh, led him to those, to those uh, to those terrains, you know, she was the she was the the great artist that shaped Neruda in some way. Neruda was like a like a like a savage diamond, you know, and she shaped the final form of, of the of the artist Neruda was. And in the film, the 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 relationship between them is very special because in some part when Neruda uh, goes to the far well. Uh, and, and he goes escaping to the south of Chile. He says, uh, "Well, dear, I have to say goodbye." And and and, and that was uh, historically the moment they they say goodbye each other because uh, after the go to Paris, Nerua uh, be, began another relationship. But it's very special that this woman, um, uh, Delia Delia Alcaril, which was a very a very important. Uh, a painter, Argentinian painter, and very aristocratic one. She lived and she survived Pablo Neruda for many years. She died in I don't know, of almost hundred years. So she was she was a witness of the history, and it's very very special the moment when she has the, the, the character in the movie has that conscience that she's gonna survive Neruda and, and she she's gonna survive all the history beneath Neruda, and and that that, that that's very special. And as a special was to work with this great Argentinian actress, Mercedes Moran, who is an incredibly talented and, and smooth person and, and full, of, full of nuances to go into, into a character. Uh, it's truly, it was truly a great moment to share the set with her. And I think to all of us, in, uh, including Pablo Lorraine, was a great, great surprise because she's an extremely talented and profound and very sensitive um, actress that, for me, my opinion is that uh, the portrait she made uh, of, of, of this great Argentinian artist, uh, Zelia Alcaril, is, is deeply, deeply uh, full of uh, full of profound. Uh, I think it uh, was a very, very good choice to have her in, in the cast. Great. Just one more question. Can you give us one reason why a reader should come yeah, see Neruda this weekend? Give us one good reason why a reader should Sorry? come see the film. Can you give us one reason why our, our readers should come see the film um, in Chicago when it opens? Oh, on the yes, 27th? yes, yes. Yeah, I think um, yeah, I think a good reason to go to this to this uh, to to go to to see this film is because it's not a common biopic. I think I think uh, really Pablo Neruda is kind of reinventing the genre, uh, the biopic genre, um, because uh, he takes a historical character, as Pablo Neruda, and not only sp he not only speaks about the, the, the character, he speaks about the time, he speaks about any other subject, many, many other issues. And uh, I think you, you, you go to see a movie which is the celebration of the art, 
the celebration of the, of the creative power of a, of a of an artist, and this could be uh, shown with Pablo Rua or or another artist. But uh, it's very special that um, the the scriptwriter, uh, which is very talented too, Guillermo Calderón, and Pablo Larraín as well, they took this character in 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 a turning in a turning point of his life, uh, where he was really inventing the rest of his life. When Pablo Neruda acknowledged the Nobel Prize, he mentioned almost this part of his life. Almost he, he uh, all, all, all the speech he gave in front of the King of Sweden uh, is about this part of his life that he said shaped him as an artist, shaped him as a man. And then he says, I don't know if I wrote this, if I invented this, <clears throat> if I dreamt this. So we are in front of, um, of a very clue moment of an artist, and, and we assist, if, 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 we, if we go to, to a movie, which is, as I, as I say, reinventing, reinventing the biographies, reinventing the, the way to present the life of a great character as this Chilean artist. Luis, right. thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it, and good luck in all your work. No, work. please. No, please. Thanks to you.